Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful chain herringbone stitch earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial even if you are a beginner you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you're not familiar with beading at all and with herringbone stitch, also don't worry, just find the needed materials and I'm sure you will be able to make them. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more videos and more inspiration. If you're not new here, you could skip this intro and go directly to the work itself. But I have just a few words to say down there in description. You will find the full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. You don't know how much of an amazing support this is. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are really simple stuff. Only 8 beads in black and silver color and these are earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And I will also use pliers to attach these jump rings and earring findings to my work. Okay, and now I'm going to take about two feet of thread on my needle, which is about 60 centimeters, and I will start. Okay, guys, and I'm starting by picking up a black bead and a silver bead. Okay, this is what I take first. And I will start the super easy herringbone stitch. And if you're not familiar with it, don't worry, I will show you how I'm doing it. Okay, I have those two beads here and I'm going to go back in circle. I'm holding here, here my tail thread and I'm going back in circle through those beads that I added. Okay, like this. And now what I want to do is stick my needle here and make a knot with my tail thread here and my main thread. I take my tail thread and I go back through this loop here and I do this twice and then I pull and you could make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure and what else I'm doing is that I go through this black bead here and I'm going to take a black and a silver okay like this and I'm going back Then again through these two black beads. Okay. And I take a black and a silver and I go back like this. And uh, this guys is the so-called herringbone stitch. It's really easy, nothing difficult, nothing complicated. Okay. And I will show you two more times, a black and a silver, go back through this silver like this, then pull the thread in this direction and go back through these two blacks. And again, a black and a silver, I go back through this silver like this, pull my thread in this direction and go back through these black beads. Okay, now I have five rows and I want to have 15 rows. I will make them off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have 15 rows. And what I'm going to do now is put my needle here on this side. Okay, I will take it out and I will put it here on this end. Okay, now what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction and make a knot 
and cut this tail thread because otherwise it will be on my way all the time okay and how I do this I make here a loop and I go through this loop you could go once or twice through it whatever you like and pull and then I will go through the following seed bead and I could repeat this knot several times and when I'm ready I will cut my thread and I will be sure that this work is secure okay now I will put my needle back here okay and now what I want to do is make here a ring like this and as I'm exiting through this black bead I go through these two black beads in this direction like this you see this is where my thread goes and I pull then I go through these two silvers the neighbor two silvers like this and I go through these two silver beads and then I pull okay now I go like this because I want to reinforce this joint here and I will go up and down through my beads as many times as I would like then what I want to do is go one more time around this circle here the thing is that I want to make a beautiful circle of silver beads okay to form it nicely and after I'm ready I will go here through the black beads and I will make a knot the same way I showed you before make a loop go once go second time through this loop I've made and pull then I will go like this and I will cut my thread okay now guys I will make another element of 15 beads and I will make a knot and cut my tail thread and I'll leave my main thread and I'll show you how I continue okay guys and I just did the same element of 15 beads if you forgot how I'm doing it rewind the video and stop up to this part and now what I want to do is put it here inside like this and I will do the same thing that I showed you before as I'm exiting through this black bead I'm going here through these two black beads okay then I go back like this and like this and I'm making the same connection process like I did in my previous element and I'm cutting my thread okay now I will continue with the next element okay and I have my next element prepared and I want to arrange it so the silver the silver beads to be from the same side like here so the silvers will be from one side the blacks will be from the other side okay and i will connect it the similar way
OK and I will make a knot and cut my thread and prepare my next element. OK, now as I have this, I have two ways to put this one here. One way is to put it so in this way, so the black will be from the black side and the silver from the silver side. But I would like it better if I put it the other way. So the black and the silver are like a checkmate. You see silver here, black here. Okay, now I will do another connection. Okay, now I have this and I want one more element here. Okay, I have it. And how do I want to arrange it? I want the silver part to be here at this side, like I have it here, here, and this is the third one. And I will show the last connection here. Okay, now I have this and I won't be uh, in a hurry to cut my thread, but instead what I want to do is go back here through the hole. You see there is a hole between these four beads in the center. I'm going through it like this. Okay, then I want to go back like this in this hole from the inside to the outside you see now I want to take one of the silver beads and I will go in the other the neighbor hole you see like this then again through this hole and I will reinforce After I reinforce, I'm here in the outer circle and I want to make a knot, making it like this. And then the same thing going through the following seed beads and cutting. Now, guys, I have just one more step to go and it is to put here my earring finding and how I do this I take this jump ring open this one up put it here and now pay attention I want this silver part to be the front part of my earring if you want you could make the black part front okay like this but I prefer the silver one to be the front, okay? That is why I will attach my earring finding in this way. So when I put it on my ear, this will be the front part. Okay, so now I put it here and I squeeze back in the same direction as I opened it. And now my herringbone stylish earring is ready. Okay guys, so now my chain herringbone stitch earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see 
more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find a full list of materials link to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials Thank you so much for liking, sharing and commenting. You don't know how much of a support this is. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.